Guys, welcome to the Kingfisher Bait Clinic. Today I'm going to show you the double hook trace that we used with Top Bun. Very simply, at Kingfisher obviously we sell all them made up. There's two in a pack and I'm just going to show you what they look like. Okay, very simply, it's a number six um, barrel swivel, and we use two 79568 mustard needle point four rows to make that. So that's pretty much what I'm going to show you we're going to be doing. Okay, we use number six American fishing wire to make them, and I'm just going to cut myself two pieces very quickly. Two. Put that away. I'm going to get my barrel swivels, open the packet, just going to get one of those. To start off with, I'm going to make what they call a hay wire twist. On the back of our American fishing wire, there's a diagram that basically shows you how to tie it. So I might work through it very quickly. But remember, on the back of the American fishing wire, our tooth-proof wire, you will find the hay wire twist. Okay, so to make it, all we do is take it around those pliers, make a little bend in it, take our number six Kingfisher barrel swivel, like so, grab it with a pair of pliers, and all we're going to do is we're going to twist. Now, to do it, we go around five times. One, two, three, four, five. And on the first one, you bring up the tag end, which is that short piece over there, um, that being your main piece of wire. And we wrap this around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, like so. We then take your pliers, we just bend it back, 90 degrees, and we work anti-clockwise. So we're just going to move this towards me. There we go, it breaks off perfectly every time. The second one, we're going to repeat the whole process. Then we're going to take our four row needle point mustard hooks and attach it. Okay, so now we take our needle point four rows, I'll just take some out the package here quickly, two of them. And be careful, these hooks are sharp, especially when it comes to this part of the whole process. Okay, smallest one. And the nice part about it now is you can actually measure what size you want your uh, baits to be. Okay, so that's about right, and I'm gonna give you the measurement, about seven centimeters. There we go. Take our first needle point, stick it through. Grab it with a pair of pliers like so. And again, we're gonna do it five times around. First one done. The second one we just place next to it. And what we like to do is keep the second one where the eye of the hook is pretty much in line with the bend or the barb of the second hook. So that's where I want it to be for the second one. We just take it like so and we just bend back like that. Okay. Take the R and we thread the wire through it. Okay, so there we go guys. <clears throat> that is our double hook. Um, trace that we're going to use with our top bun. Okay, guys, now I take my Kingfisher nylon, attach it, sorry, take your main line. You go through your, your float or your top bun. Obviously you've got your little stick there. 
depending on the how strong the current is or how big the waves are, that determines what weight sinker you're going to use. For purposes here, I'm going to use one quarter ounce. Obviously, the stronger the sea or the surges, the bigger you go, up to an ounce on it sometimes. We then take our nylon, we go through the eye of our swivel and we go around three times to form our figure of eight. Cut off the tag end. Okay, so very simply, I'm just gonna shorten this. That is what our drift double hook trace looks like. And again, depending on the depth of the water you're fishing, you can either make it longer or you can make it shorter. Double hook trace, guys, with top bun. Drift sardine, no problem at all.